first responders across eastern Carolina are getting ready for the storm. News Channel 12's Lucy Nelson traveled to Lenore County today for a first hand look at exactly what's happening. She joins us now live and Lucy, what's going on behind the scenes? Val, EMS Director Murray Stroud tells me he is checking with crews across the county like these right behind me to see if everyone is ready for the storm tomorrow. He says there will be a higher number of staff for when the storm hits. An extra communicator will be in the 911 center for every shift in anticipation of an increased call volume. He says a paramedic will also be in the center to help with calls for medical emergencies so rescuers can go where they're needed most and stay off the roads if possible. Stroud says they are even trying something new by partnering with telehealth resources at Vidant to help people needing non-emergency medical services. That paramedic being in the comm center can help triage some of those complaints and uh, if it seems more appropriate that something telehealth may be able to handle, uh, we're going to have a triage call, uh, protocol in place that we can offer that service as well um, to hopefully prevent transporting to the hospital. Stroud says you can expect to see extra fire trucks coming in at 7 o'clock Friday morning. And another ambulance will be stationed down at the south side of Lenore County. Stroud says not to panic if an ambulance is taking longer to arrive on a scene if you, as than usual. He says they will be there as quickly as possible, but they are also trying to stay off the roads as much as possible to keep crews safe. Reporting live from Lenore County, I'm Lucy Nelson with News Channel 12.